Well guys, today I'm back out at Cross Creeks and I'm be fishing with a spoon again. <laughs> so, let me get this guy unhooked here. I should have my pliers ready. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm, it's what I'm gonna be doing. It's gonna have to be throwing a cast the spoon up there in the shallows, uh, maybe jigging it around a couple places when I see a good spot to jig. Let's see how many big ones we can get. Man, this guy, he, he wanted it. He choked it pretty good. <laughs> so. It might take me a minute to get this out. There we go. So, first fish of the day right here, guys. Not too bad. Uh, I'm not sure if I can leave the camera running or not, to be honest with y'all, just because I don't know how well this is going to work. So you guys might come in mid-fight just a heads up. But I will turn the camera on whenever I get a fish. And I will see y'all when I catch some more. Stay tuned. I got another one here. There we go. So I, I was using a silver spoon. But you know, overcast day and all that stuff. And well, to be honest with you guys, I can actually see this gold spoon better up there in this overcast day than I could the silver one. That's one. This ain't a bad sunfish. Sorry the screen's, uh, the camera's kind of wet. It's, it's got a, I got a light rain going on here. So, but yeah guys, little eighth of an ounce gold spoon. That's what we're going to get them with today. <laughs> if I get some big ones, I'm going to probably keep some for dinner tonight. See y'all in a little bit. Got one on here. He came up and nailed it to hit the water. Oh, he's not a big guy. I gotta let some line out. He's not very big. Pretty much, pretty much as soon as they got under that water, he came up and he nailed it. So, pretty aggressive, pretty active today so far. We haven't got even. We have not even got to the good spot of this uh this bank yet. So. We'll see how many of these fish y'all get to see. You got one on here. Not a bad little guy. I think I might leave the camera on through this stretch right here because this looks like some prime area, guys. So y'all don't miss out on the action and I don't have to sit here and try to keep the fish. I want to try to get my camera on because it's, it's not a fast camera that turns on. So the little guy, let's see if we can get a bigger one in there. Let's see if we can find Papa and Mama. Grandpa and granddad and great grandpa and great granddad. We, we just want the whole family. We, we want we just want the whole family. Uh oh. And there's a problem with uh, fishing with this thing. It... Oh guys, I'm turning you off. Here we go. Alright guys, I'm back. So I'm gonna leave the camera on for a little bit of stretch. It's pretty this is a pretty good stretch right here, so. And I do apologize if y'all can't see too well because of the starting to rain again. Yep, there's one right there. Oh, he got off. We're gonna throw it back up in that spot again. Probably another one in there. And all I can do is, is, is I'm just kind of reeling it back, letting it fall, kind of keeping it like the upper one third of the water column. Just because today is such an overcast and cloudy day and the the temperature is only going to get up to, I think, in the 70s, mid 70s. So the fish are probably going to be more active in top and in, in top in the top part of the water column. I'm trying to get under this tree right here because I think if I get one back there, I'll, I'll get a fish. There's somebody right there. Yep. I knew I was gonna get somebody over there. <laughs> oh, here, look at this guy. Here's a good one. And we got our first customer for dinner, maybe. What do y'all think? He's a. Uh, he's pretty good, but about my hand. So, I think I'll put him on the stringer if I can get enough. I might have some dinner tonight, maybe. There we go, guys. Look at this. It is nice. Uh, this is. I miss ID this fish in the last video I made. This here <laughs> is a long ear sunfish. Hence the long ears right there. But 
But like they do look really similar though to the pumpkin seeds, so but my mistake. I uh I did miss ID the fish, so that was my fault. And while y'all watch me sit here struggle to get this stupid hook out. Like I said, struggle. There we go. So this right here is a long ear sunfish because of that right there, not a pumpkin seed. <laughs> All right, let's let him go. That one on here, guys. He feels decent. No, he's not that decent. Never mind. He's okay. I mean, he's not like huge, but okay. There we go. There he is, right there. He's going. Let's see if we can get another one up there. There should be a whole bunch. This, this is a pretty good area to get something. It's a good. Here's a good one, I think, guys. Oh yeah, it's a better one. There we go. Add him. We can add. Oh no! Uh, I was gonna add him to the stringer. <laughs> Here we go, guys. I think this is. A, I think this is a decent one here. It feels decent. Feels good. Oh yeah, he's a good one. Definitely a good sunfish. Yeah, look at that. There we go. All right. There we go. I was able to get underneath that tree right there, and there he was. Look at him. Nice. Get him on the stringer with the other one here. Got another one, guys. Feels decent too. Oh yeah. Another good one. <laughs> Oh yeah, look at this one, guys. Wow. Another, another nice sunfish. He swiped that and missed it, but he still got him. Another, look at that. Look at that. Nice. No! Oh my gosh, that's twice now. I've lost the fish to eat tonight. <laughs> Dang it. God got one. I don't think he's very big. Eh. I mean, he's an eater. As big as some of the other ones that I've, I've dropped in the water, but he's an eater. Yeah. Uh-uh. I'm going to do the same thing everybody else is doing. Right, he's not bad. We'll put him on the stringer. All right, guys, got another. Oh, this one feels real good. He feels like a, he feels nice. Oh, yeah. Look at this. Oh, my goodness. And there's another one following it, too. Whoa. Here we go. I had another, I had another big gill fall on this one. Look at that. We're gonna put him over this one just in case he tries to escape. That's a nice one there. And see, he would have escaped if I had him the other way. Here we go. I don't know how big he is, but he feels, he feels like he got me in something. He got me in something. Ah, oh, crap. There's a tree right over here. I think he got me caught in it. I can feel him on there. So, oh, we got him out. We got him out. We got him out. Oh, yes. Whoo. Not the biggest in the world. We'll let him. Ow. We'll let him go get bigger because, yeah. We'll let him go get bigger. Thanks for the fight, bud. All right, guys. Here we go. Here we go. What we got? Oh, yeah. Look at this. We got a good one here. He swiped that. No, he. Yeah, he swiped that. It was unfortunate. He, he swiped and missed. Oh. What do you think? Eh, let's let him go. He's not big enough. There we go. This one feels good. What did I get? I got a bass. That's what I got. I got myself a bass. There's another one following it too. <laughs> hey, I was wondering if I was ever going to catch a bass today or not. There we go. I was wondering if I was going to get a bass today or not. And the other one's just falling right behind it. Like, literally, there's another one right down below it. Are you done? Nope. Are you done now? Yeah, the other one keeps following them. You done? 
Nope. Come on. You can stop, please. There we go. I was wondering if I was gonna get a bass today or not. There we go. Not a bad little bass, huh, guys? He's fat and stocky. He's been eating pretty good today. All right, let's let him go. There he goes. Hey everyone, as you've seen, I had a pretty good day uh, spoon fishing out there for them sunfish. Like I said, it was just a simple one eighth of an ounce uh, spoon. It was, you know, about yay big. Now I was using gold because, like I said, it was a cloudy, overcast day. So I never tried a uh, spoon fishing like that before, like where I was like. So what in essence what I was doing was I was casting it out. I let it fall a little bit. And I was, then I would um, like jerk it up real gently and bring it up and let it fall. It's kind of like it's kind of like doing this motion all the way back to me. And uh, it worked out pretty darn well to be honest with y'all. Um, I caught some really nice hand-sized bluegill. Um, which by the way I did end up letting them all go. I didn't keep them that day. I just decided I didn't want to clean them. So. <laughs> um, but it worked out pretty good. I want to go out and try it on Kentucky Lake and see how it does out there, or even on uh, Barkley Lake. Um, oh, I might. I don't know. It kind of depends how I'm feeling, of course. But um, yeah, guys, it it worked really well. I was just fishing up in the uh, shallows in the upper third of the water column, letting it do its thing, and it was a it was a really good time. So, um, other than that, y'all, thank you so much for watching my video. I surely do appreciate it. I hope y'all learned something in this video too. Um, other than that, if y'all did like this video, please hit the like button. If you are new to the channel and like what you've seen, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified each time I make a new video, hit the bell button down below. And other than that, y'all, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.